Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn how we can load the Hawaii switch in the EVENG and how we can use. If you see this is a Hawaii switch because some of the student is requesting about the Hawaii switch so we are showing here. As you already know first of all you need to install the EVENG in the, GA, in the VMware workstation. If you don't know you can watch our EVENG video you will understand that one. So once you install the EVNG in the VMware workstation, you will run this. After that, whatever IP you are getting here, you will type the IP in the browser and it will open. It look like this is a dashboard here. I have multiple devices because I am teaching the different subject to different guys. So I keep here multiple labs. So you will not have these types of lab. You will have empty space. You will uh, take the device and connect or let me create a new lab so it will not be confused for you let me take a new lab here okay i can say basic lab okay so like this you will have now we should load the image first of all if you go here if you check here this is a cisco router and switch if you see this is a 40 gate firewall and this is a hawaii switch this one is a hawaii switch this is also hawaii switch this is a hawaii router I already loaded that's why it is showing this color else it will be grayed out. So how to load means you need to use the WinACP. Okay if you see this is a WinACP I hope you already know how to use this one. If you don't know also this one also first of all try to watch our video in the YouTube channel in the playlist you can check. In the playlist EVNG playlist already we teach there so this is a image let me show you image if you see here i have the image let me go to this evng folder you can see this one is a cisco switch and this one is also cisco switch sorry not cisco this one is a hawaii switch this one is also hawaii switch so if you open you can see this is the folder Okay, this is a folder inside you have this image. So just you need to drag this and drop where you need to drag and drop means you need to go in the key folder. If you are watching our video, I hope you already know how to go to key folder. If you let me show you when you open, it will come like this. You will go to unit lab add ons and then you will go to key here. You need to drag this. If you see here, this is a folder inside this one hda.qcow2 so this image you should have and this is a folder name just you need to drag and drop i already done here if you see this one this one and inside image is this one so just you need to drag and drop this okay after that one more thing you need to do you have the yml file you need to put this file also where you need to put in cisco we are not putting but in hawaii you need to put so where you can put means you can go out you can go out and you can see you have the html here go in the html folder then you have the template after template if you are processor you are using amd then open this and paste the, uh, drag and drop this file here okay if you are using the processor intel then open this and drag and drop this yml file okay you need to do else your device will not boot up so I already done I am using the AMD so I already drag and drop this one after that go here you can see images go inside that images folder you can see icon go inside icon and this is icon just drag and drop already I done if you see it will give me already it is present I will say yes this is the icon of the device so this thing you need to do first you will drag this folder in the key view and then this YML file you will put in the template and then in icon you will put this one so this i done and after that i need to do one more thing okay this switch is work is done ce12800 this switch i already loaded here if you see here ce which one i am saying this one hawaii12800 so this one i loaded everything is good and we have one more hawaii switch if you see this is a one more hawaii switch so this folder name you need to create and inside you will have this image so this is also i have if you see let me show you i will go out okay if you see this one hawaii c8 uh, double zero this one this folder inside if i go this is a image and this is a folder 
you should not have folder in folder so when i open this folder you have image directly okay so i go out and i will drag this folder i will drop here where i need to drop this in key mu here like this drag and drop here i already done here okay that's why it is coming here if you see and same thing i deleted just now here if you see we have more uh, images if you see this one so this icon image you need to paste in the icon folder where we have just now we pasted if you remember in the html images icon already we pasted so this even if you did not paste no problem but for html in the template you need to go and same thing if you are using amd you open the amd and this file yml file you need to paste like this i already done that one okay so this thing you need to do for this folder also which folder i am saying this one hawaii 6800 so let me show you where is the uh, that here hawaii 1200 we done hawaii 680 so for both the thing for this same folder name and this image name and then this is the same folder name and this image name you need to put images i have i can give you later and uh, this file also there in the zip file this yml that you need to remember because in the cisco we are not loading that one but for this one you need to load here in the template if you are using amd you need to drag and drop yml file here if you are using the intel then you need to put the intel okay which one i am saying this one and this is a icon if you load one time that is enough so after doing that one you need to put the permission command if you remember here you will go and you will put this permission command after that you can take here i already put that one that's why it is there i did not delete and do again just i told you you already know already you are watching our youtube channel also there also we already teach that one just click node and go down here and what you can see if you go down you will see this is a hawaii switch this is also hawaii switch so click here take whatever is coming default click okay and if you want another one also you can take we taken which one 6800 we taken and you take this one also and just drag you have here if you want to connect you can connect also like this okay which interface you want to connect you can connect and click save and power right click power on right click power on you can power on this one if you want to move select like this move here and if you want to take the console just double click here okay refresh and double click here double let me double click here you will have like this open this one it will open in the secure crt if you have secure crt if you don't have secure crt it will open in the putty so same thing i will do double click here it will open so it is booting up we need to wait for some time okay it will take time you need to wait for some time here also if you see it is booting this both are switch only it will take some time you need to wait after that if you know the commands whatever commands we are using you can put that commands for uh, switch like how you can create the vlan all that one so it will take some time to boot up i will pause the video till it uh, boot up okay so if you see this ce ce 6800 it will show you start fail first time so no need to do it will show like this after that it will start working okay you need to wait you need to wait and the other one this is also booting up you need to wait for some time after that you will have the hawaii prompt so we can do the configuration like here see this first one is giving first time like fail something now it is okay so it came here now whatever the command you know you can do example i want to configure the vlan i will write system view and then i will write vlan 10 and i can give the description like sales and then i will write quite and uh, if you want to create multiple vlan we can write like this vlan okay vlan and you can give batch and multiple vlan 10 give space 20 give space 30 give space 40 like this we can create okay and if you want you can write commit because until and unless you put the commit it will not save the configuration and write quite so you will go out and if you want to check you write display vlan and press enter so now you can see we created the vlan 10 20 30 40 we did not put the ports that's why all the ports are in the vlan 1 by default vlan okay if you move some port in the vlan 10 20 it will come if you want to move you can move also see here you have g0 by 
g1 0 by 0 okay you have here g1 0 by 0 so let's see here what i will do i will write here first if i want to do any configuration i will go here system view system view and then after that i can write interface giga okay what is that one one by zero by zero i go under that interface and then port link type i can type what is a link type i can say axis example if i want to make this axis and after that what i need to do here like uh, i can put whatever configuration example I, I will say port default vlan 10 i want to put this in vlan 10 so i will write that one i can quit i can commit and i can uh, write here what i can write display vlan okay so here check i move one port here you can see here this port move to the vlan 10 okay how i move this is the commands what i done here so this is in where i done in this switch ce 6800 now i will go to the another one this is also ready and same thing you can write system view and then go inside and if you want to create the vlan write vlan batch if you want to create multiple vlan write 10 20 30 40 and if you want to commit you can commit and if you want to check you can write display vlan and press enter you can see we created this vlan if you want to put example i want to put some port so if you want to check port you can write display interface brief okay so you can see i have this all ports so i can uh, use this port okay so i will write here interface this port i will go under this port i can give the description this is vlan 20 port anything i can write and then i can say port link okay port link type trunk or which one you want to make example if you want to make trunk you can write trunk but i want to make axis and i can say port default i can write vlan which vlan this one i will say vlan 20 and then i need to write commit if i want to check i can check also i will write here uh, i can write display vlan okay and see here i move one port which port here you can see this port i move in vlan 20 in this switch in another switch if you see i move one port which port this one in vlan 10 in this switch and uh, this means this one and for this port i move this uh, vlan 20 the first port so this way you can do whatever you want to do like uh, you know already the commands like you can google how to check uh, software version or anything in hawaii switch and you can uh, get the commands you can type here whatever the commands like we have here in cisco we are writing show but here in the hawaii you have the display you can write version so what what is the version of that one and you have like this write display and press question mark you will see what you want to check you want to check clock you want to check dscp whatever option you can see here you can run all that one you have lot of thing here okay i can write display clock so i can see the clock what is the clock time display i can write like uh, display interface brief so you can see the interface detail like this you can uh, slowly slowly play and learn hawaii also because most of the student is requesting me to make this video so i am doing this one because in the data center they are using the hawaii switches also so this is the hawaii switches and how to use you can google and you will get the comments lot of comments how to do like uh, display you uh, how to check different types of thing you can write display device and you can get the device information you have lot of commands that one you can do easily just i shown you how to install the hawaii switch in the evng and how to use okay i hope you enjoy the video if you like the video if you uh, you can like the thumb up and write some comments okay thank you bye